Hi, I'm Nick from Hi-Fi Collective. Today we are going to be changing the springs on a Elmer switch. This is for the 04 series. Um, Elmer have six different tensions on their springs inside these to make it incredibly easily, easy to turn, like this one, or a bit trickier, like this one. Obviously, the lower ones, like the 1.5 newtons per meter, you would use on a stepped attenuator, and for a selector, you'd probably use an eight. So for this task, uh, there's only a few things you need. First of all, it's very important to have a clean environment because you do not, you don't want dust getting inside the Elmer. So I use just um, a bag just to keep it clean. Uh, tools you need are a 1.8 flathead screwdriver, um, 2.5 flathead screwdriver. Sizing is quite important, especially the 1.8. Uh, obviously, you've got the Elmer switch, your springs that you're putting in, and uh, a, mark, a pen. This is just a, sh uh, a fine tip Sharpie. Right, let's get this started. Um, first thing you need to note is orientation is very, very important. So you need to have a system whereby this key locator is towards your body. See this here? This is used as a keyhole, so when you put, it, put this switch into the chassis, it doesn't move. So keep that towards you. Uh, the next thing is you need to have an angle on this here. This basically represents the shaft motion going round. So that's at an angle. So first thing you do, take off the wafer, which is this part. Straightforward enough, just with your flathead screwdriver, just take out the two screws. The same rules apply whether you're doing a one wafer or a four wafer. You basically just have to remove all of the wafers. So screws are undone. Now, when you pull this out, make sure you don't turn any of the, me the structure inside and then just put it, put it there. So it's still in line, it's pointing towards you. Then these come off as well. Like that. Okay. Now, this is quite an important part. You need to make sure when you put this back together again, you, you're putting it back in the same place. So the way we do it, with your Sharpie, just mark there and mark there. So those lines join up. All right, so turn it round because you have to remove the circlip, which is here. Basically, it's a C-shaped washer. So I put my nail under one side screwdriver on the under the other and just give it it's a bit tricky at times there try and be careful you don't lose any of the bits <laughs> I nearly lost that then and then there's two washers underneath you need to take those off as well when you're doing this procedure very important you don't move the shaft Though if you do, you've, you've got them marked anyway, so you can line it up later. Take those washers off, turn it around. Now, what I'm going to do, very slowly push the shaft through. But I'm going to put one finger there, one finger there, either side of the lines, because the ball bearings will pop out. One there, one there. Now, you can see there is grease on these ball bearings. So you don't want to have them moving all over the place so you're losing all the grease. So the springs sit in these holes. So using your 1.8 screwdriver, just insert there and you can pull out the springs. Turn around. You can, you'll feel all the grease, the lubrication on these, so try not to wipe it all off with your hand. 
All right. So now you put the, the new springs in. The way I do it is thread it through a screwdriver, pop it in, give it a little push, and then again, and the other side. Oops, like that. So now the ball bearings. Now what I the way I do it is I put one ball bearing in at a time. So sometimes you can pick these ball bearings up like that, but there we go. Okay, but sometimes you have to use your fingers. So pop it in there and then push it down. Ball bearing's gone. Turn it around so the other ones you can get to the other one. Now you see I put my finger over there to stop that other ball bearing falling out. So bring it up, get this ball bearing ready, uh, give it a push, and push it down. Done. Now very important, obviously they're lined up so it's all good. Right, so next task is to put the wafer back on. Now you remember earlier, we had the key locator pointing towards you, which it is now. Just turned it around again. So, plastic part goes on first. This can be a bit awkward. While you're doing this, make sure you don't turn or push <laughs> the shaft because the ball bearings will come flying out. And then this goes back on. Like that, everything's lining up. Screws in, screws in. You may find you washing your hands is a good idea because your hands will be covered in fingertips will be covered in grease, and your tools will slip out your hand. Cool, and then two washers. Put them on. Now you need to give it a little push there. So you've got, you can get these circlet back on. Basically, push it back on with your fingers. Done. So now we have a slightly stiffer turn because we've changed a 1.5 Newton per meter springs to eight Newtons per meter springs which I think is ideal for a selector. Good quality feel. Job done.